This channel is designed for adults viewing only and certain videos will contain rated M for mature video games, featuring realistic violence, gore and suggestive themes. If you are not an adult, do not view the content on this channel. Sit back and relax. It's time to take a wild trip to the past. Get ready for another exciting episode of Memory Lane. That controller can only mean one thing. We're playing the Sega Master System. Get ready. Today's episode of Memory Lane, as you can see here, we're playing a game known as Putt and Putter. Quite the obscure Sega Master System game right here. A mini golf type game. And we've got the, uh, the box over here. Let's take a closer look. Definitely has that mini golf marble madness type look to it. it looks crazy. We've got the Putt and Putter logo down here in the bottom. And I'm not exactly sure if this is on any other console or not. And we have a sports little tab right here on the top. It's definitely a sports game. And right here on the end label, we have the putt and butter, <laughs> not putt and butter, but putt and putter uh, end label right there. We got a little graphic of the game and we got the, uh, the master system. Let me see if we can get this right here. There we go. The uh, Master System logo with the uh, little number on the side. Now in the back you got some screenshots. It's like an isometric golf game right here. And it has like puzzle elements to it. So it's kind of like a Marble Madness type deal. And you have a, uh, a European UPC code. And it has a Sega sticker on it. That's kind of weird. I don't know what the story is with that. But... So look at that, there's a SEGA sticker on the UPC code. That's weird. Now that's probably been there for a long time. I don't know what the story is on that, but let's uh, open up the manual here and see what we have inside. And it uh, looks like we have ourselves a little brochure, catalog, maybe a poster. Hey, right, let's see what we have here. This. These you usually don't find in every single Master System game, but sometimes you come across them. A Sega game catalog. Alright, so let's focus this camera. And got nice little illustrations of various different games. So let's see if we can make the light come more this way so you guys can see it better. Alright. See some Outrun and uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, all that type of stuff. So yeah, you got all kinds of different games here. The Ultimate Challenge in Games. Come over here, you have Dick Tracy. Uh, Psychic World. Cyber uh, Shinobi. Sometimes these are really, really cool to look at. More cool than actually playing the game itself. You got Ghosts and Ghouls over here in the corner. You got some hardware, so this is the uh, Master System 2. You got the uh, controllers. A rapid fire unit. What the hell is that all about? I've never seen that before. And you got the, uh, the Genesis right here. This is the Mega Drive, the European Mega Drive. So if you guys are over in uh, Europe, you might recognize that Mega Drive right there. The one that we have usually has red instead of white, so that's kind of weird looking to me. And the Game Gear was just brand new when this game came out, I guess, so look at that. Brand new. Alright, so I'm going to fold that up and put it in here. Keep that nice and neat. 
And then of course we have the manual itself, putt and putter. And uh, the European manuals open up horizontally as you can see here, instead of vertically. Usually the American ones open up like this. Europeans open up like this, for whatever reason. And there we have a uh, classic cartoon. It almost looks like a 1930s style cartoon or something. And this comes in multiple different languages. And uh, one thing I'd be curious to see... Oh no, there is no um, scoreboard at the end. I was going to head to the back of the book. So usually they keep scoreboards at the end. That would have been cool to see. So it's a nice simple manual, nothing crazy. Alright, let's see if we can get this in here. And we have the uh, putt and putter cartridge right here. And uh, it has the red label, Sega logo right here. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. You guys can see that up close. Putt and putter. Probably has a little minor bit of a dust on it, but when you have a huge game room and a lot of cartridges, it's pretty darn near impossible to get every little speck of dust off. And there we go, the contacts look pretty clean. Uh, this game, I believe, I uh, either bought this from a guy in Germany or I bought this from a guy in the US. I never had any good luck buying games from the UK. So this either came from Germany or inside the US. It is a European game. And uh, let's head over to the uh, Sega Master System and let's play some putt and putter and check this out. All right, here we are playing the Sega Master System. And today we're playing a little bit of uh, Putt and Putter for the Sega Master System. This is a European copy right here. Uh, I don't even think this game released in the US to be honest. It's, unfortunately that's the, the case for a lot of different games on the Master System. Alright, so let's uh, play this. This is a uh, golf game. I play one player. Let's check this out. I have never played this before, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, so... Alright, so I guess this is giving us an idea of... Alright, so let's see here. Oh no, we're gonna go off the edges! Alright, so now we have to try to make it into that hole right there. Yeah, I did it! That was actually pretty cool. That was actually much easier than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be harder than that. So, a pretty simple control. So, this is where you start off at right here. That little gray, little square area right here. Alright, so... Let's see if we can start this. And we're going to... See if we can uh, aim this in that general direction over there. Alright, we made it over in that direction. Now, let's see if we can just let it slide right into the, that area. Let's see here. Let's see what happens. Oh, it didn't roll. Okay, so... And there we go. I thought it was gonna, it's gonna roll right into the hole. So this is a unique golf game on the uh, Sega Master System. It's actually pretty fun so far. Now, what is this? Let's find out what this is. Alright, so it looks like some sort of toggle switch and I... 
turned it off and on at the, simultaneously. Oh my god. What the hell? And there we go. We fell off the side. Right, so we're definitely going to have to... Try to get around that area. Oh my god. That's not going to work. Oh, we almost made it over. Almost. Alright, so we're gonna have to probably hit the switch again. Oh, I rolled right by it. I mean, what the heck? Okay, so that turns that little conveyor belt thing off. That's pretty cool. So now we can go over here and go right past it. We can stop on it. It's kind of kind of reminds me of like a Marble Madness, but with golf instead. I did not give up. All right, let's. Uh, yeah, if you like Marble Madness and you like an arcade style golf game, this this is actually pretty cool. All right, let's go over here. Oh, I didn't get that far. Apparently it's very hard to roll your ball over here. What's this thing? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. So whatever this texture is right here, it's programmed so your ball can barely roll. You have to roll really Oh my god, that did not work. Four over. I'm assuming that's probably not good. Because <laughs> I played that, that music, like uh, that you suck music, you know what I'm talking about? And then we got the game over, oh man. Alright, let's give that a try again. This is actually pretty fun. So on this uh, level right here, we definitely have to see if we can do this. And there we go. Oh, oh, that was awesome. Hole in one. I did not expect that to happen. That was pretty cool. Alright, let's uh, go over here. And there we go. We're... We got a birdie. We did pretty good that time. This made it to the inner conveyor... Made it to the second conveyor belt. And it rolled right over to where the hole is. I'm not exactly sure how you would get a hole in one on that level. Now this one right here, we have to definitely uh, turn this little switch off right here. Let's see if we can do that. And there we go. Now we have to uh, make it over. Oh, it sent me back to where I was before. You have to be real careful on this one. Alright. Oh, no, it didn't make it. Did the ball get heavier or something? What the hell? Oh, no, 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 oh, no. It sent me all the way back to the beginning. Oh, my God. Alright, so we're in the center again. I, apparently that thing right there, I don't know what that thing is, but... Let's see if we can go around it over here this way. Alright, uh, uh oh I think we're okay now. We just need to get inside this hole right here. What the hell? 
It went in and it bounced back out. What the hell was that? Alright, so we're, uh, we're on this stage right here. And we have to turn that switch off. Right now we have to see if we can make it over here. Now we did it. We got the the boogie bogey, whatever the heck you want to call that, and the uh, the music. Once again, I had that disappointing music, like, I, I suck at this game, but I'm having a lot of fun. And here we go. Oh, I almost went back and hit it again, I think. Alright, so here we go, we have to... Oh, I did not get far at all. Oh, you have to be careful not to hit that switch. Oh, no, oh, oh, what the hell? Where am I going? Oh, no! Alright, let's see if we can do this. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Once again, it bounced right out of the hole. This game can be really tricky. Alright, let's see what happens here. Got a game over. And now that was a little bit of putt and putter for the Sega Master System. There's really not much more than that. It's a great game. I actually really like that game. That game's pretty awesome. And uh, it kind of reminds me of golf, mini golf, and uh, Marble Madness combined together, kind of. That's kind of what, what I'm getting the vibe from here, and it's, uh, it's pretty fun. And it's two players. So if you have a Sega Master System and you want to play a great two-player game, uh, that is it right there. Let's see if there's any demonstrations. Let's see here. We'll, we'll leave it here for a little bit. It has really nice graphics also. You can see the uh, the water graphics right there. The uh, title screen looks pretty cool. And this is the uh, the box right here. I don't think there's actually a demo for this game. It just plays the music and it shows the, like the little sections of what the levels look like right here. That's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, Putt and Putter. Pretty cool game. I like it. I'll definitely play that again. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane and you want to see some more Sega Master System episodes or Sega episodes, don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you think.